Hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew Shadow at the Water's Edge. I want to say thank you to you guys in the comments who are always reminding me of stuff that I forgot. It's, it's very helpful and I really appreciate it. So we actually do have what we need. Locked. I forget which key is which. Uh... There we go. Is this the card? I think it's the card. But we have this- we have a card with a star on it, so... There it is. Okay. So we can get in here. I still don't know which room exactly I'm looking for, but... Hey, it's progress. On the- on the second floor. So... I just need to look around in these rooms a little bit. Wait, can I just... Can I just go through all the rooms? Oh wow. I can. Well, we have full access now. We're just gonna leave all the doors open. Now, Savannah said we're looking for a bird. Somewhere. Okay, well, let's head back into this room. I need a key to open this door. I know you do, Nancy. Why don't, why don't you leave these doors unlocked like all the other doors? I should find something that matches that symbol. Unlock all of them. Okay, looking for birds. That... that's a... okay. Hello? Oh. I can't get out. Hello, ghost. These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out. Uh. Oh. Hold on now, friend. I'm a little confused. Go away, ghost. I'm not interested in buying your cookies. takes the time to design these puzzles. I mean like in-universe. Why would you put this intricate puzzle on a, a, a door like this? Oh, I didn't want to do that. How do I change this? Oh, that's not... I'm, I'm mirroring the wrong thing. Crap. It's mirrored this way, not this way. 
Well, can I? There's no way to reset this, is there? Or is it? Can I just back out? Ah, oh, they're not gonna let me, are they? Well, I'm probably going to fail here, unless that's just a very, very patient ghost we got. Here, let me just undo everything that I can. Maybe whoever's out there is... They're, they aren't actually gonna break in because they... They can't fake the haunting well enough in person. So they're just like, well, I guess I'll just keep banging on the door and hope she has a heart attack or something. Okay, I think I've undone everything. So we need to mirror it across. I may have clicked something just now, I'm not sure. So that's green. This is green. That's green. Yeah, this is a super patient ghost. Thank you, ghost, for being understanding. Now, you said they were mirror images, but... That's not how it's working. It, it's flipped as well. Oh. Well, I, I appreciate having a chance to redo that. These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out. So it, it's flipped along the line. That's not a mirror image. A mirror image is not... Hmm. We're getting into semantics now. Okay, what am I missing? Um, this triangle right here. And this triangle as well. I'm missing something here. I'm missing this blue one. Okay, what else am I missing? Or did I do something wrong? Huh. I got stuck on that one. Hmm.
I don't think scientists actually say that. These look like mirror images. I bet if I could match these up perfectly, I could get out. Do I have to match all of them? Like they all have to look the same? Okay, so all these triangles are green. Every single one of them. And these are all red. You know, it would make sense if we had to color in the whole thing. I think- I think the phrase mirror images is what threw me off. If Nancy had said, oh, these- these all have the same pattern, or something like that, that would have made a bit more sense to me. I'm going to blame myself for that one, really. I still don't know if that person is actually struggling with the door or if they're just very, very patient. There we go. Getting out of here now. Okay, so uh what now, Nancy? Did that. Haven't done that. You know what? Let's head back up there, see if we can catch whoever's in the hallway. Nobody, of course not. Well, in that case, let's head back in there. I should find something that matches that symbol. I think that was this room. This carving must be the trigger to the secret passage that Savannah mentioned. Well, there's the bird we're looking for. Oh, uh, I, I clicked very suddenly. Well, I guess we're going down here then. Oh, and here's the room we saw them in. So we, we know that Miwako and Rintaro both know about this room. So is it, is it one of them? I don't know, I'm still leaning towards Yumi, but I have a feeling about Miwako too. I don't know. Kind of hoping it's Takai just because I think that would be a fun twist. But I'll... You know, I... I'm gonna stick with my initial guess. I'm gonna say Yumi. <laughs> Unless something happens in the next five minutes to make me change my mind. Whoa, what is going on with the water? What what is going on with that? I don't see anything unusual. It looks like they really wanted to keep people out of here. I wonder why. Oh, is this where she drowned? This looks like a very disused bath, and this is this is right adjacent to the other baths. Which makes it really creepy that there's a peephole in the wall there. Ooh, a letter. Yumi. 
Stop it already or you'll be sorry. A letter from Miwako to Yumi. Okay, I'm sticking with Yumi. She's my guess. Though it could also be Miwako, but I'm sticking with Yumi. What is... Are we doing Sudoku now? No, this isn't Sudoku. This is uh, Renograms, right? Well, uh, I'm I'm prepared to solve this puzzle if the game will let me. No, nonograms. Ugh, I keep getting the words mixed up. I always think of nonograms as Picross, just because that's the the name that I'm familiar. Oh, familiar with. We got we got a message from Yumi. Best looking like she's under duress. As she's being forced to take this picture. I don't like the looks of that pool. No, jump in. It's really murky. I don't even want to know what's down there. Yes, you do. I definitely don't want to go in there. I don't like the looks of that pool. Well, what do you want to do about it, Nancy? That's done. Check. Ah, oh, come on, Nancy. We know what to do with the Can't big check grid. That off yet. We just need to write. Do we have any sort of writing implement? Can I throw my puzzle book at it? Where is my puzzle book? Is this it? No. Puzzle book. But what, what do you want me to do, Nancy? Another message. Hello. Something is strange about these pictures. I should find a place to print them out. Okay. Where do we do that? Oh, um, 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 um. Hold on. How do we get out of these rooms? There we go. Wasn't there a place in the pachinko parlor to print pictures? And this one too, because why not? Thanks. I got an Easter egg. Thank you. With like a Victorian Elizabethan cat princess. Okay, Nancy, I printed out. Did that? Haven't done that. Print out all those pictures. 
Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... There's kanji written on them. Oh, there's knee. Okay. We're doing numbers, so... Roku. Um... This one needs to be on top somewhere. Okay, that's- that's Q. That's nine. Roku Q Nigo. So that's six nine two five. That's the code for the There's thing. A hidden message. I need to talk to Yumi about this. That's the code for the thing in Yumi's room. Uh Maybe it's not Yumi, because I feel like she's giving us hints now. What's going on? Great picture of Bess. Thanks. There's a hidden message in all those pictures you sent, isn't there? What do you mean? All of these pictures together show a set of numbers in Japanese. This can't just be a coincidence. You're trying to tell me something, aren't you? You're sure they mean something? Maybe you've been spending a little too much time at the Ryoka. I'm positive. You're right. Nice job, Nancy. But why would you do that? Why not just ask me? I know you want to help, Nancy, but that doesn't mean you can help. If you could break this code, I knew you could help me, and you did. But what do these numbers mean? That's the next step. Take a good look around, think about situations where numbers come in handy. Can you tell me a little bit more? I would, but I'm falling way behind as it is. I need your help. Come on! Okay, we're doing this again. Very well. Um, pig egg is right here. Which means rabbit egg is right here. Uh, bear egg. Pig rice. Nope, nope, nope. Pig rice is right here. Uh, bear sandwich, bear rice. And the only rice left is right here. Right? No, that's that can't be right. That's the rice. This one's a sandwich. I don't know which one, though. Was that wrong? Nancy, oh. great job. Also, Nancy, bad news. What do you mean? I didn't notice how late it was getting. I sort of made you miss your last train back to the Ryoka. You're not mad, are you? No, I'm sure I'll figure something out. I want you to stay at my apartment tonight. I will stay at a friend's. I do this all of the time for Rentaro, so I'm not taking no on this one. Thanks. Yeah, she wants me to open the thing. Good thing I still have her key. Okay. Six, nine, two, five. Got it. Okay, nine, two, five. 
These look like the numbers for one of Rentaro's nonogram puzzles. You know, I don't think it's Yumi anymore. Did that. Still have to do that. I should stay here until morning. Unless Yumi is playing like a fourth dimensional chess with us. I'll be teaching then. I should set the alarm for later. But you said to stay here until morning, Nancy. Hi. Dear Marianne, Yumi wanted me to tell you. Such good friends. I wish I know your secret. Hurry back soon. I know I promised. Send my love to the family. I can't wait to see you again. I know your secret, Yumi. I can't wait to see you again. What's going on? What was that? Someone being creepy. Alright, we're heading straight back to the hidden baths. Not going to talk to anyone. I should find something that matches that symbol. I clicked outside the window. Now where is the uh... Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, kind of leaning towards Miwako now. It looks like I need another set of numbers. Oh, we need another one? So should we talk to Rintaro then? Still have to do that. Since he's the nonogram dude. You know, I was worried that this would be another situation where I, I had stopped the previous video, like, right before the end of the game, so this one would be really short. I'm not worried about that anymore. I don't think this will be a short video. Hello? Yumi sent me a great picture of the two of you. Oh yeah, she's nuts about those booths. Every time I visit her place, we go at least once. What's that wooden thing in the garden? The tree? No, the wooden thing that makes the knocking noise. The door? No, the thing. I'm teasing. You're thinking of the deer scare. Maybe. What is it? It uses flowing water to make weird knocking noises that scare away the deer so they don't eat all of the flowers. Oh, that's neat. Does it work? I don't know. Deer still eat the flowers, but it's hard to tell if they're scared or not. Or that their expressions pretty much look the same. Kind of like this. Great impression. Hi. I'll let you go. Catch you around. I totally forgot that we still have to open up that bamboo tube. So I guess I will wander around talking to people then. Hi. If you didn't work here, what would you do? I'd... You know, it's been so long since I've been asked that. I don't know. Something very different. Something exciting. With Lentaro. Why won't anyone give me a straight answer about what happened to Kasumi? You think you're entitled to a straight answer about my life, my mother's life? Who are you, Nancy? A stranger. 
You forget that too easily. I, I can't blame her for getting upset about that. Nancy is asking a lot of very prying cr questions. Hello, Nancy-san. Do you believe that people have a sense of what's to come? You probably think I'm silly, but I do. Did Kasumi believe this? Why do you ask? Was she worried about things before the accident? I'm sorry. I must prepare. I have more lessons. Hello, Nancy-san. Did you want to run the Ryokan when you were a girl? No, not at all. I wanted to travel. What happened? I fell in love with the Ryokan. The guests, the seasons. I realized that I wanted to take care of it. I wanted my daughters to have the chance to know it here. Daughters? Kasumi had a sister? Marianne? No. I don't understand. My young guest. She met some man from overseas. She never has visited. Says it's too far. Wants me to visit. She knows I can't leave here. She did not even come home for the funeral. So I've been wondering who Marianne is. So if uh, Takai had an, an estranged daughter who had met a man from overseas, she might have changed her name. Were you ever married? Of course. Your husband, he... He would have been very impressed with you. He loved questions, too. My friends would say, tell him enough with the interrogations. But if he liked someone, he wanted to know everything. I'll let you get back to work. Come again. Oh, jeez. Am I stuck again? Do I need to go talk to Yumi? I need to translate that. I think someone was outside your apartment, trying to scare you last night. What do you mean? I woke up in the middle of the night, and there was this weird writing on the window. And it said, I know your secret, Yumi. See you again soon. That's not funny, Nancy. I wasn't trying to be funny. It's true. That was written on my window, in my apartment? You're not lying? I'm not. You swear? I promise you. What does it mean? It means... It means my grandmother is right. What was she right about? Nancy, don't go back to the Ryoka. Just, just go home, okay? Find your friends and go home. And now I'm suspicious of Yumi again. What's going on? I really like the picture of you and Rentaro. I know, isn't that one great? I'll let you go. Maybe she's running like a long con with us here. I don't know, I, I'm just distrustful. Where do I? Okay, the other, the other number set must be in the bamboo tube. How do I open it? I don't know. I'll just try every single item on it and one of them will work. Unless I don't have what I need yet. Okay, I had to look this up. There should be a screwdriver somewhere in here. Oh, right here. 
Okay, now I should be able to get this open. There we go. This must have meant something to Kasumi if she went through so much trouble to hide it. And there we go. Now I'll solve the big nonogram puzzle. Oh yeah. Gotta run all the way back to the hidden room. I'm I, I'm guessing Nancy probably didn't leave the door unlocked. It's room 33, by the way. I should find something that matches that symbol. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh yeah, nonogram time! I think this might be the last puzzle, and except for any potential puzzle the, uh, the culprit gives us. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. It's already mostly solved. Okay, actually, no, the, uh, the dark ones are ones that are, okay, yeah, the dark ones are ones that have not been marked in any way. Got it.
Fox. A hidden compartment. Who would hide something here? Okay, here we go. Who is it? To my daughters, I hope that you will never need to see this note, but I'm worried that I might be leaving you much sooner than I want to. There are a few things you need to know. First, you need to take care of each other. If you found this, it's because you've worked together. Keep it up. On your 15th birthday, I will give you each half of what you need to find this note. I know you'll be able to work things out between each other if you try. Please try as a favor to me. So I think it's definitely either Yumi or Miwako. I'm still leaning towards Yumi, kind of. I'm not- I really don't know. Second, the Ryokan is just a place and nothing more. Neither of you have to stay to take care of it. These are your lives. You have to live in a way that makes you happy. All I ask is that you work out your decision together. Finally, if you're reading this, then I'm sorry. If I had my way, I'd be there for you always. Take care of each other and take care of your grandmother. I know she disagrees with what I want for you too, but don't take that personally. In her own way, she only wants the best for you too. Cool blade. What is this creepy thing though? Is that a bunny rabbit? Well, we have a weapon to defend ourselves with now. Hello. Oh. That actually scared me a little. Oh no. I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half and fast. No, stop, stop cutting. Oh, why does that take so long? I don't know what I'm doing here. Rest in peace, Nancy. <gasps> Oh no! I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half, and fast! Um... There's gotta be like one or two key spots, right? Because there's not enough time to cut everything. <laughs> That's true. Oh no, I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half and fast. Can you give me a hint, Nancy? Can we cut this thing? What is this? I guess not. Well, this is a lot faster, but I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I mean, you can, you can stick your head out through there, Nancy. That's not too big of a gap. I mean, it's, it's a big enough of a gap, I mean. <gasps> hmm. Pretty good drowning noises. How am I gonna do this? Oh no! I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half and fast! Okay, I'm just going to. I'm not going to worry about dying right now. I just. Actually, oh, the. Interesting, the, the breath meter goes down a lot slower when I'm not actively cutting. I guess that makes sense. 
So she specifically said to cut it in half, so do you want me to like go like straight down? Like you don't want me to make a hole in the center, which would be e the easiest thing to do. You want me to actually cut the entire thing in half? <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. Oh no! I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half and fast. Okay, I think I know what to do now. we go. So uh, wh where'd our ghosty friend the go? The joint near the elbow looks a lot like what Rentaro was working on in his shed. Oh. Huh. So it, it, it is a puppet. Should I go talk to Rentaro then? Well, that seems, uh, incriminating. Is it Rentaro? I mean, he definitely has motivation. Check that off yet. Hmm. Search for clues to find out where he's gone. I would like to talk to people, but nobody's awake right now. It's late. I should get to bed. Hey, where's Rintaro? Oh, you're... you're not here either. Ooh. That is suspicious. Are you here? You are. Hello, Nancy-san. Did you know about Kasumi's will? She did not have a will. She was too young. She did. I found it. No. You don't understand what you found. Whatever that says, she didn't mean it. She told you what she wanted, didn't she? And you ignored it. No, you don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You didn't tell the girls what their mother really wanted because you're afraid of losing the Ryokan. You made up all of this ghost business to scare the girls into doing what you want. Stop! Stop! You're wrong! What do you mean? You... You are right about the will. I knew what Kasumi wanted. Then why did you hide it from them? I wouldn't expect you to understand. Try me. I can't lose them too. There's no guaranteeing that they'll leave if they know the truth. Yes, there is. There is too much sadness for them here. They've forgotten about how things used to be before. Before she died. They've forgotten about how this used to be our home. But why would you fake these hauntings if you want them to stay? I would never do that. 
No, I'm... Why did Kasumi think she was going to die? Was she murdered? I think maybe I jumped to a decision too quickly. I know you mean well, Nancy-san. You can't help us here. But thank you for trying. Please tell me this. What really happened to Kasumi? I need to know. The police said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. What did happen? It was my job to take care of the bass. I was supposed to be there. She... She was supposed to be meeting with that Penipal friend of hers downtown. She was so excited to go. I should have let her go. I should have taken care of everything myself. But I didn't want to. I didn't like her going into the city. I didn't like that pen pal of hers. Always getting her so wound up about leaving here. So, I played sick so she couldn't go. I don't understand. The pool ledges are very slippery. You must know where to walk. There was a reason I never let her do that part. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was too selfish. She drowned that night in the bats. It should have been me down there. And she knows that. You can't blame yourself for that. You don't understand. I do. Accidents happen. As much as we wish they didn't, you can't keep everyone safe, no matter how hard you try. It is different for a parent, Nancy-san. Miwako and Yumi blame themselves, too. If you can't let Kasumi go, how will you be able to help the girls? I don't know if I can do that. I'm sorry, I cannot talk right now. Huh. But still, why did she think she was going to die if it really, really was an accident? Not quite right. This really? is the recorder Rintaro was talking about earlier. I'll take this and leave the other one here. Is it really Rintaro? I should translate this and figure out what he's up to. Today... Something comes to an end? Uh, room 33. Mitsumori Show. I know that this is today. This is to end. I'm not sure what this is. I know that the, this kanji is middle. But luckily we have a dictionary with us. Must finish today. Room 33 work order. Oh, thank you. Did that. Did that. Did that. Okay, I guess we're going back to room 33. If I can walk in a straight line. Can I just... Oh, I can. Really? What are you doing in here? You're the one trying to scare everyone away, aren't you? No, Nancy. I'm not trying to scare everyone away. I am scaring everyone away. The Ryokan needs to close down. But why would you want to close this place down? Look around you. Does this look like a good place? Everyone can sense it immediately. And it makes them leave. Everyone but you. 
But when I tell Miwako that you're here to collect info for Savannah's next book, you'll be out of here too. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Throw the teapot at his head. Uh, where's the, uh... Oh, darn it. I was looking for the recorder. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Uh. I better not record anything right. <laughs> uh. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. Not now. I've got to find Rintaro. Okay, I guess that's not the solution. Um. I really thought throwing the teapot would work. <laughs> I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. What's this thing we just got? Not so fast. Oh, okay. Uh, I dropped all my junk. I've got to find a way to convince everyone about Rentaro quickly. The recorder. I don't get it. You're the one who told me the ghosts aren't real. No one usually listens to that line because they want to believe in the ghosts. I didn't start that. They did. They wanted the show and I gave it to them because enough with them and enough of this place. I asked Miwako to leave. I even left myself. Why did you come back? I can't leave Miwako here alone. I need to convince her to leave or close this place down. It doesn't matter to me. But you, it's time that you leave. Now. Look familiar? It's been on this whole time. I just push this button and I'll send everything you said to every voicemail box in the place. No. Don't. Do it. Why shouldn't I? After everything you've done, your ghost almost drowned me. I really screwed up here. Let me be the one to tell her. If I do, she might forgive me. Eventually. Give no. <laughs> Not a chance, Rentaro. All right. I don't want to be here when you tell her. Dear Hannah, Rentaro left and never returned to the Ryokan. To this day, no one knows where he went. When I told Mawako and Takai what he'd been up to, they were furious and relieved. After living in the shadow of Rentaro's hauntings for so long, they were finally able to feel at home again in the Ryokan. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time on the town <laughs> with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy.
All right. Residents of a German castle are being terrorized by a fearsome creature, and it's up to me to crack the case. Once I arrive at the castle, I begin to suspect that there may be more to this monster story than just superstition. As monster sightings become more frequent and creepy signs begin appearing, I find myself in danger of becoming the monster's next victim. Join me as I try to solve the case without becoming another entry in the castle's long and grisly history in my next adventure, The Captive Curse. Werewolves? Yes, please. Okay, so... I was caught off guard by it being Rentaro. And the reason for my last choice at the end there is because... He was making them think their mom was haunt their dead mom was haunting their hotel. That is messed up. Like, dude, I'm not gonna let you try and weasel your way out of that. And I'm I wasn't really happy with how with the way his relationship with Miwaka was looking. So it, I, I I don't feel guilty about breaking them up. Not at all. <laughs> uh, I was suspecting Rintaro around the middle of the game, but then I I eased up on him, and I, I shouldn't have. I really should have stuck with him. Oh well. Sorry, Yumi. I really enjoyed this one. It had a lot of puzzles that I liked. Though I will say, as much as I like nonograms, that last nonogram puzzle was a, a bit long. But that's okay. I'm not mad about that. Um, I still want to know why why Kasumi thought she was going to die. Like, they didn't really answer that. Because the, the way she was talking in her letter, it was like, oh, I'm probably not going to be here much longer. So, e so either she was... Either she was thinking of killing herself, or she expected somebody else to try and kill her. But it looks like her death really was just an accident. Oh my gosh, I think I really saw the smoke like really did that. Suki, tate. Right then. Dare to play. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Please be quiet, Nancy. So, and w I don't know what the point of was Takai mentioning towards the very end there that she had a second daughter. Like, I don't know how that came into play unless the other daughter really was Marianne. Like, I could see that being a thing. And, uh, uh, Kasumi writing to her pin pal, who was actually her long-lost sister, and keeping it a secret from Takai. But it, it just seemed like an odd thing to bring up in, like, the very end of the game. But overall, I really like this one. I like the setting. I'm, I'm a sucker for Japanese aesthetic, as you probably know by now. <laughs> the soundtrack was good. I like the characters, although um, some of the voice acting choices were a little... could have been better. So am, am I right that the, uh, the, the second bathroom... bath area... was blocked off because that's where Kasumi died? Because that, that would make the most sense to me. Like, they don't want to deal with those memories. So they just block them off. Also, that, um, that sword that was with Kasumi's will, it looked a lot like a, a tanto, a Japanese short sword, 
which was the traditional weapon of choice used in seppuku harakiri, the um, ceremonial suicide that samurais participated in. Of course, a tanto was also used as, as a general weapon as well, but uh, I couldn't help but drawing that connection, especially with uh, Kasumi's will, saying that she might not be around much longer, so... I don't know if that was an intentional choice there, but it 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 raised suspicions for me. So I I don't know what Kasumi's deal was was. But yeah, I like this one. The ghost was pretty spooky. It jump scared me a few times. The the one in the the bathroom was particularly memorable. Memorable. I liked that. <laughs> But yeah, it looks like the next one we're going to be dealing with some werewolves and a creepy old castle. So that's cool. I think I read a legend about a specific werewolf sighting somewhere in Germany before, so I wonder if that's what we're going to be looking into there. I'm super curious about that. But it's once again time to take a break from Nancy Drew. So the next game will be The Hanged Man, which is the third game in the Strange Man series. I've been enjoying that series as well. It's pretty spooky sometimes. And I'm looking forward to the next game. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!